I'm Boston J, and this is Wicked Pissa. Well, you caught me again, once again, with my buddy Tampa J. Hey guys, here. how's it going? We're uh, we're hanging out here in downtown Tampa, the Tampa uh, Tampa area. Uh, we're actually really close to Ebor City. Yes. Um, and I just realized my lens is really, really dirty. So I'm gonna have to clean the lens, and then we will. Uh, we're gonna go check out this old. Uh, Old cemetery. It's the Oak Lawn Cemetery here in downtown Tampa, and it's uh, it's pretty old. It's uh, it was founded in 1850, yep. it, and uh, there are a few areas that are in in here with that were mass graves from some battles and some other things that happened here yellow in the fever. area. Yellow fever was big in that time, so a lot of yellow fever burials were uh, were done here in this cemetery. So um, let me uh, get give you a shot of the front entrance here. And we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go check this place out, all right? We'll talk to you in a few minutes. Peace. Here's another interesting burial and that uh, a lot of my friends will recognize. Um, all of my friends that live up north. Um, this gentleman here was a mason. And he was also, this was the son of Dr. Franklin Branch. And he died in it's hard to make it out it looks like 1882 or something like that he was 26 years old when he died yeah awesome. so awesome. awesome grave check this out how the wrought, how, look, wrought the, iron fences the, the wrought iron fence grew right, right around the it. tree yeah I've seen that before That's, that was really cool though yeah A lot of times you'll see, especially here in Florida, you'll see burials that are like that, right there. Above the ground, yeah. They are above the ground, and the reason why they did that back in the day is because the area that we are in used to take on a lot of water. Like when it rained, it, it, it would flood and, and things, you know, it made things kind of bad. So a lot of times they buried people above ground, and a, a lot of times they did. They believed more in the above ground burial than the below ground burial, and they thought that that you know this spirit would be better off that way. As you can see too, you'll notice most of the burials here in this cemetery are facing east, and the reason why they are facing east is because. Christians believe that when you die, Jesus is going to come back in the eastern sky. So you bury people facing the east. I have to keep track of my uh, time on my camera because it only allows 10 okay. minutes at a time. Oh, okay. Section four. Find, if we can find that area, the mass graves. The mass graves. I okay, think it's. I think it's in section four on the corner. So it might be down here. Yeah, it's in section four. Section this four. is section four right here. Oh, it's over there by that house. Okay, let me get a. I get a shot of these uh, monuments right here. Okay, so this here is the area of this plaque right here. Looks like a Confederate monument, right? Um, in honor and memory of Confederate 
States soldiers and sailors 1861 to 1865 interred here which is probably in one of the mass graves in this area. The Heights Garden Circle, John T. Leslie, SCV Camp, United Daughters of the Confederacy. And then this is also one of the mass grave areas here in memory of the victims of the yellow fever epidemics of 1853, 58, 67, 71, and 1887 through 88 who are buried here at Oaklawn, most likely buried within this mass grave area in right in this vicinity you you can see there's like a bigger area here where there's no headstones chances are that's the area where the the mass the mass graves are yeah. there's an area here and then there's another area right over there that I noticed that's that's pretty wide open that doesn't have any burials so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go check and see what this building looks like, and uh, and uh, we'll do some more recording. Oh, I'll get a shot of that. I hope you guys can see that all right. I can't really see it that well on my camera. Judge Joseph B. Lancaster, the first mayor of the city of Tampa, 1856. I mean, it's for, you know, for a cemetery, it's very beautiful. It's, you know, I, uh, it's it's nothing like uh, nothing like the cemetery that I visited once. The other cemetery I visited at uh, Berea, uh, the old ghost town in Berea. Um, this is a more you know uh, incorporated type of a uh, cemetery. That's you know it's and it, it's pretty old. Uh, as you can see, I mean, most of most of the burials, most of the burials, are from the 1800s. Um, I think what I might do is I might do spirit box over here in a little while, okay, um, to see if we get anything. Um, hang on, what do we got here? We've got okay. This is the Fort Brook mass burial, the fort that was in. Um that was in what is currently downtown Tampa. Um, the fort was abandoned from what I read. Um, settlers and, and military men, they, they just, uh, this is the mass grave from, um, let's see, they died around 1825. And I don't know if you guys will be able to read this, but I'll try my best to get it, uh, to read it. This says, to the 102 unknown soldiers and settlers reburied here from the old U.S. Army Cemetery at Fort Brook, March 24th, 1981, rest in eternal peace through the efforts of the city of Tampa and the Tampa Historical Society. So this is where the majority of the folks that died at Fort Brook 
uh, they were transferred from the cemetery there to yep. here. Yep, and okay. uh, Fort Brooke was a historical military post on the east bank of the Hillsborough River, which is downtown. Uh, the fort was established in 1824, uh, soon after Florida was acquired by the United States from Spain. It was an important post during the Seminole Wars and of lesser importance during the Civil War, the American Civil War. It was decommissioned in 1883 and the land was eventually sold to private interest. But yes, these are the mass graves um, from that fort. Yeah. So when they, I'm guessing when they tore down the fort and whatever graves they have, the bodies were moved here. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Here's a little map. Yeah, there's probably a plot map. That's a plot map. I've turned on the spirit box, so we're um, we are only going to allow uh, loving light spirits into this session. Okay, we are protected by the power of God and Jesus Christ, and we only allow positive light spirits to come in and talk to us if you want to. Nothing negative is allowed to enter into the area. So, if there's anybody here from the, the old Fort Brook, if you want to come and talk to us, you can come and talk to us through this little black box I have. Hold it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard hold it. Hold it. Anybody at all that wants to come through, anybody light, anybody who is positive, anybody who is wanting to come through and say hello to someone, please do so. Can I have a name? Can you give me a name? I heard Susan. Susan? I think it was Susan. Guys, if you hear something, if you hear something on here or, or see something that I don't see or whatever, please don't hesitate to make a comment in the comments below and uh, let me know what you've heard. I just want everyone to know that I'm here in peace too. I'm, we are here just seeking a positive... Uh, spirit, um, just trying to communicate with you. Maybe you have something you need to tell us. We're here for that. Can you give us a name, please? I keep hearing, I keep hearing children. Yeah. Are there children here? Yes, there are. You heard that? I heard yes, there yes. are. I, heard, I thought I heard yes. Do any of the children want to come forward and talk to me? I think I... I think I heard you. Can you guys speak louder at the same time? Maybe say yes? Maybe. I heard maybe. I heard maybe. 
you can it's okay you don't need to be afraid this is just a little a little device that I use so that I can hear you talk better so please come forward and speak into the box This is the mass grave area, the mass grave site from the yellow fever epidemic. It said, are you positive? Yes, yeah. I'm positive. That's where we are right now. If you'd like to come forward and speak to me, that's okay. You can do that. There's no need to be afraid. My name is Jay and I'm, I'm here peacefully. This is my friend Jay as well. Yep. We're both here peacefully. We're, we're here just to say hello and, and to show you some respect. Some respect, and we're here to hear your story. Your story, please. I heard something. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely got some activity. Though. Yeah. Let's walk up this way a little okay. bit. Okay. Uh, we're gonna walk up this way here a little bit. I've got about three more minutes on my on my timer on my camera. As I'm walking through, if you want to come, if you want to follow me, come follow me. Let's let's take a walk through the cemetery here. I thought I heard you say, stay. You want me to stay here? You want me to stay in this area? No, I heard don't. Or right, is your grave around this area? Are you buried somewhere around here? Your body, your humanly remains? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to walk around a little bit more. If you want to come talk to us, you can talk to us. We'll be in the area. We're not going to go too far.
Okay, I'm back now guys. We're back here. We're still at the uh, cemetery in downtown Tampa. We're um, just walking around a little bit. We're gonna... Um, I don't see... This, there, there's one thing that I've noticed in this cemetery. There's no benches. Nowhere to sit. <laughs> so, but that's okay. Wait a minute. There's a big one right here. Let me see. Um, I, I, I... I left my cane in the car, and uh, it's, I'm starting to get the effects of not using it. So um, we may be cutting this short a little bit. Oh, this one's a good one. The slave burial ground, and it reads: "To the slaves buried in Oak Lawn Cemetery, in peace, sleep on God's hands." Each broken heart will mend, placed by the Heights Garden Circle in April of eight, 1978. So there's obviously a, a slave burial area. Um, they have pennies on the headstone. Yeah. This one here. Died in 1850. June 13th, 1857. So he's lynched. This one was lynched. Sorry, Adam. 1859. This one here was drowned. Drowned at Bell's, at Bell's Wharf. 1868. Looks like maybe two. Benjamin Taylor and Fortune Taylor. Here's here's a very interesting gravesite. Mr. Hubbard, a Cuban pirate, found dead in the woods, June 1850. Wow. I bet Mr. Hubbard has a lot to tell. Here's another, Jose Perfino, a Cuban pirate, killed in 1850. An Indian Cuban pirate, maybe. Uh, Indio. That, maybe that was his nickname. Maybe. El Indio means the Indian. And it looks like there was, the, oh, that looks like a, what used to be a road. Yeah, it looks like the old road. It looks like you should be able to come through over there. Yeah. Okay. Access from... I'd be willing to bet. This is definitely the oldest cemetery I've been in Florida. Yeah. Looks like the old road was right here and it so, went that. I rephrase that. that. Besides the one in St. Augustine, I, I forget to count those. St. Augustine is really old. This section of the cemetery is the Catholic cemetery. St. Louis. St. Louis Catholic Cemetery, 1874. So, this section here of the cemetery is dedicated to those Catholics that died in that time period. Looks like somebody's been writing on that one. Writing on it. See yeah, it? looks like graffiti. The writing, on writing on that one there. It might say. His writing and some lipstick. Let me see if it's appropriate for you two. It's, it's an unknown soldier, and it looks like someone 
<laughs> this is the grave. A Confederate unknown soldier grave site. Someone wrote, I love you forever and kissed it. Looks like with lipstick. That one didn't get so lucky with a tree fell on it. The tree fell on it. Uh, 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 Another Jackson. She was born at Fort Brooke. Really? And died in 1912, August 1st. She was actually born on the, the fort in 1837. All right, I'm going to try to run the spirit box a little bit here. I'm going to hand the camera off to uh, Tampa J. We're going to let him film a little bit. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to film you right here. It's going to stop. You see the counter there in three minutes? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. It'll stop. When it when it stops, just press the, the sh button again, and it'll turn back on again. This one? Yep. Okay, it'll stop at 10? It'll stop. Once it goes down, it'll count. It's counting down now. Okay, it's at three minutes. Yeah. Okay, now I'm rolling on both the spirit the spirit box and on the digital recorder the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to try to listen back on the recorder to see if I hear anything that that, that I didn't catch live yep If you hear anything on the spirit box that I didn't hear or that I'm not catching, please let me know in the description below. Well, I say the description, I mean in the comments. Mm -hmm. The section of the uh, cemetery, we're in the Catholic section of the cemetery now. So, if there's anybody here that wants to come forward and talk to me, they can do so. like the Suave family is here. I think I heard Bueno. Bueno, which is Spanish bueno. for good. Yo, yo hablo muy poquito espanol. En, entiendo mucho. We're going to continue to move on down this way. One thing I was surprised at was uh, the, the slave, there are slave burials here. Yep. There's definitely a great mix here in this cemetery. Yeah. Soldiers, slaves, political figures, masons. The first mayor of Tampa. I'm the first mayor of Tampa. Fort. I heard Fort. Fort? Okay, we, we are in the burial ground of Fort Brook. Were you from there? Were you from the fort? What is your name? I heard John. In front of the grave of John W. Henderson. Say that again because I think it, it restarted. Okay. That. So you heard John. I heard the word John, and we just happened to be standing in front of the grave of a John W. Henderson. Okay. Who died in 1935. Right there. 
Mr. Henderson, is that you that are trying, that's trying to come through? There are several roads named after this man here in Tampa and his family. He had a big influence on the area. Mr. Henderson, do you want to come through and say hello? I, I heard I do. I do. All the way from over here. I do. Well, you can say hello. That's fine. We invite light-hearted spirits to come through and say hello. <laughs> what about you, Mrs. Pearl F. Henderson? Henderson? Pearl Henderson. Died in 1975. Do you want to come through and say hello? Pearl, we, we're here, we're in peace, we just came to hear your story, we, are, we mean no harm, we just want to know your story, and if you want to tell us, just come right up to this box and speak right into it, and we will be able to hear you. Over here. I heard over here. Over over here. Over here. Over where? Where do you want us to go? Left or right? Where do you want us to go? Left or right? Straight? You want us to go straight or left or right? Okay, well I'm gonna go over to I'm gonna go off to the left here. If you wanna come talk to me, that's fine. You can come talk to me if you want. I heard hi honey. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> Reverend Martin, would you like to come through and say hello? Reverend Martin died in, in uh, 1850. He was 51 years old, which is the same age as I am now. Reverend, are you here? Mr. Henderson, we are about to leave this area and we won't be back for a very, very long time. If there's something else you need to communicate to get off your chest, please speak into this box so we know. We know of your family. I know of your family, so please, if there's anything you or Pearl need to express, please express it to us now. We are, we, we are your friends. Okay. We heard okay. We heard okay. Let's move a little closer to the Henderson. Okay. Could be, it looks like one of the little plots. Weathered and yeah. 
shattered. Look at that triangle. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Henderson, we're going to move on now. Thank you for coming through and talking to us. We appreciate it. If there's anybody else that wants to come through and say hello, please do. We got a sheriff there. Looks like Thomas Cook is buried here. Born in Tennessee. Born in Tennessee. Died 11 years old. Thomas, are you here? Thomas, do you want to come through and say something? I know you're, you were 11 years old, and this stuff here looks a little bit funny to you. That's okay. Don't be afraid. You can come through and talk to me if you want. I'd like to. Yeah. I'd like to. Thomas, we are just two men that are, are interested in your story. We mean you no harm. We're only here to listen. And if you come up to this device in my friend's hand on the left, right here, you can talk into it and we can hear you. Okay, Thomas, we're going to move on now. We'll talk to you again another time. All right, I'm going to end this spirit box session now. I'm closing out the spirit box. Any negative spirits that may be here, you are not allowed to follow me. You're not allowed to come to me. You're not allowed to attach yourself to myself or to my friend Jay. Yes. Stay okay. away. You stay. You stay where you are. Anybody that came through to talk to us, thank you for doing so. But you need to stay here. This is where you belong. Okay? We say this in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, so, uh, yeah, <clears throat> I uh, spent the afternoon with Tampa J. We went to that cemetery. We had a great time um, closing it out. Uh, we, had a, uh, we had a really good time. I'm on the uh, drive home now, and I am, um, it's going to take me probably about another hour to get home. It's after 5 p.m. now. And we will uh, we'll see you in editing. So uh, yeah, we'll check you guys on the flip, and um, you know, be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it. And that'll do it for me. Have a good one. Take care.